the Viz Men Super Cup CEO announced before the game start, lifted the suspension on Senining following a thorough investigation into the game marred by several questionable misses and turnovers that raised suspicion of game fixing. Rendell Senining vowed not to let the Pelé Binas Viz Men Super Cup down in its decision to lift his suspension for his involvement in the controversial game between the Pulapu and Sequager on April 14th. As part of the Pillai Pinas Viz Men Super Cup's decision to lift his suspension, San Ining must also publicly apologize to the fans and fellow players for the incident and be involved in outreach activities of the league. Of the controversial ARQ Builders Lapu Lapu vs. Siki Horror Mistakes game last April 14, 2021. I would like to introduce our Head of Basketball Operations, Mr. Chelito Caro, to announce the recommendation on the reduction of Mr. Rendell Senenning's suspension. As a response to the recommendation of our Technical Head, Mr. Ray Cañete, I, Chelito Caro, Head of Basketball Operations, I am inviting myself to this issue due to past connection with the Nelson Inning and the ARQ builders as the former head coach. Thus, I am elevating this to Vismin Sober Cup COO, Chief Operating Officer Mr. Rocky Chan. As we all know what happened last April 2021 of uh, between ARQ builders and uh, Siki Hor mistakes with a controversial game. Uh, the league has uh, automatically uh, stopped the game during halftime due to some unprofessional conduct of both teams. And after much thought and consultation with the coaches, the Vismin management team has decided to conditionally lift the suspension of Mr. Rendell Sinining. And now I'll give the floor and the chance to Mr. Rendell Sinining of ARQ Builders Lapu Lapu. Hello everyone. I would personally want to thank the Filipinas Vismen Super Cup to Mr. Rocky Chan, to Sir Chelito Caro right here. Uh, for giving me a platform uh, to to give me a second chance na to play the game that I love by saying that um, with under with other three conditions. So first, I would like to apologize to everyone sa, sa league and to my couple professional players for my actions that transpired during our games against the CKR Mystics. Um, I know it was a very bad sight to see and I learned my mistake the hard way. And um, I just want to say sorry sa mga na affected and rest assured na if that situation, situation happens again, I know what to do and what I will do is the right way. Secondly, um, by um, saying the said sanctions against me, um, I would gladly, I would accept uh, the, 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 the consequences that I will face if I, if I ever um, do the same mistake again. And thirdly is um, right now, um, headed by the Filipinas Vismen Super Cup with their programs. Um, they offered me to lead all those um, programs and without any doubt, uh, um, I really um, accepted it. In behalf of the Vismen Super Cup, Rendell Sinening, after serving a six-game suspension, will officially play tomorrow in his game against M. Jas Talisay. Also in closing, Rendell Sinining has been also cleared of any game-fixing allegations in connection with the April 14 game. Allow me 
then to reassure the general public that we here at the Filipinas Vismin Cup Corporation are continuing to do our share in addressing the issue of game fixing in basketball. May this also serve both a gentle reminder and a warning as well to all who are participating in this ongoing Visayas leg to play to the best of their abilities and please do not test our resolve in putting this house in order. Maraming salamat po.